Hi, this is uh, Bob from Hobby Concepts, and today I'm going to show how to beef up the rear suspension on a Tamiya semi truck to carry unbelievably heavy loads. Now, what I've got here is a, a mocked up truck. Um, I have a RC four wheel drive low boy trailer, which weighs about 15 pounds, and an RC four wheel drive earth digger excavator, which is what 55 odd pounds. We've got about 35 pounds on the tongue here, which will just mash out the suspension of a Tamiya truck. So I'm going to modify it. It'll carry the weight perfectly. It's easy to do. Um, it still has <coughs> six heavy. Still has walking travel on the wheels, so you can go over obstacles. Works great. Let's get started. So this is my mocked-up king hauler that I'm going to use for this heavyweight demonstration, and. Uh, what I what I want to do is fix this truck up so I can put a very heavy trailer behind it. Um, so far it's basically stock. Uh, the only change here is I've got aluminum rims on it and I've got these block tread tires. Now these block tread tires are harder than the stock Tamiya tires. When I'm talking about a lot of weight, I'm talking about a lot of weight. And I'll show you here in a minute. But these block tread tires also have got this hard foam insert. This is not soft. This is a hard insert. So the tires themselves will take a ton of weight because we're going to put a lot of weight on here. Now right now I just have a, a, a stock Tamiya coupler just kind of mocked up and put here on the back. And I've got stock Tamiya springs on here which really don't do much at all. And, and the problem is when you put a ton of weight on this, it just bottoms out. So when the suspension's all bottomed out, the tires won't crawl over obstacles. Um, typically, you're going to want to use a heavyweight rear end when you have like a dump truck or you're towing a, a big heavy trailer, which is what I'm going to be doing here. And then you want the suspension to, to you know, be able to flex over rocks and everything. When it's bottomed out, it won't it won't flex over anything it's just there so we're going to show how to how to fix that i'm going to show you how to fix up a heavyweight coupler this truck is is not a complete truck I'm not building a truck today i'm just working on the rear end okay so let's uh let's go to what i'm going to be towing and i'll show you that and discuss why i need to do this so what i'm going to be towing is this rc four-wheel drive trailer and low boy trailer and this is typical RC four-wheel drive this is a sweet piece of work um, it is beautifully made out of machine aluminum super heavy duty um, it's four feet long and there's quite a bit of weight here on the tongue but the problem is I'm going to be carrying something on here that's going to make a lot of weight on the tongue and let me let me grab it all right so here comes our RC four-wheel drive 360L Earth Digger Excavator. Oh boy, that thing is heavy. Okay, like 60 pounds of fun. Okay, so now, <laughs> now we got some serious, serious weight on that trailer tongue. Let's see what we got. So I've got my digital scale here. I've got a uh, coffee cup on there just so I can lift this on accounted for that weight. So, we have got 34 pounds, 13 ounces, so 35 pounds of tongue weight. Now, um, I'm going to hook that to the back of uh, this truck and we'll see what happens here. So the trailer is on the coupler here and you can see I've got maybe a half an inch of clearance here and I still have a tiny bit of suspension travel, but it's already depressed the suspension quite a bit. And now I'll take this earth digger, lift it up here on the trailer. Good lord, these things are heavy. Okay. And now you can see, well, I hope you can see, the trailer is resting on the ground. The truck has got absolutely no suspension. There's no um, wheel flex. And we're dragging here. So. This is what we're going to talk about today, is how to make this truck tow this trailer and still work with this heavy earth digger on it. By the way, 
sweet trailer, sweet earth digger. This is going to be an amazing package. It's it's almost six feet long when it's uh, when it's all put together. So, all right, well let's go to work on the truck suspension and see what we can do. I took the body off and loosened up the coupler plate and got that off. So here's the parts I'm going to use. The first part are these uh, walking beams from RCP 57 and these things are truly amazing. They come with spacers so they'll fit the stock to me a hardware. But what this does is gives you no suspension flex at all. It will keep the ride height right but they walk so the the rear tires will still walk over items without any depression which is what you what you want for a ton of weight. So these come um, either in just aluminum or black powder coat. These are black powder coated ones. I will put a link to RCP 57 on Facebook on my uh, video description and they come with spacers. The second part is going to be this machined um, aluminum alloy uh, coupler plate and this machined aluminum uh, fifth wheel which will mount on here. Again, no sag, no flex. Uh, we're going to stiffen this thing up. So when I put this truck together, I just threw the hardware on here loose. Nothing's Loctited. So I'm going to pull it back apart and then we'll flip the truck over and talk about the suspension a little bit. Um, there's uh, no real magic. It just goes on in place of the springs. But I also want to talk a little bit about the rear ends. So here's the uh, walking beam. You can see I took the spring uh, hanger feet off of the springs. There's the spring and mounted them on the walking beam. They mount the same way. The walking beam, if you line it up, line, lines up perfectly with the spring. So now it just takes the, uh, the collar, one of these spacers. This slides through here. We have another spacer. Take our long rear bolt, slide that through. We'll prep the other side with the spacers. Slide that on, put a nut on, and tighten that down. Now, um, Okay, we'll tighten that in a bit. The uh, axles will fit exactly the same way they normally do. So I'm going to go ahead and mount this rear one. We have these stops on the side that go up against the frame. I always like to emphasize this because it's real easy to get these backwards. So this will mount like this with the stops here. So I'm going to go ahead and they use this type of mounting. I'm going to go ahead and mount this all up with Loctite and then I'll be back. So with the rear axle mounted, now I want to ma uh, mount the front one. It also has these stops that go up towards the frame. And the important point here is to get the, the differential hump on the opposite side from the rear axle. So it'll mount like that. We'll go ahead and mount that up. There's the uh, completed rear end with the walking beams in place. And you can see they walk fine. They even walk side to side, appropriate amount. I mean, we're not building a rock crawler here, we're building a semi truck. But they'll walk even with a, you know, 40, 50 pound load on them just fine. So go ahead and put the tires back on it and we'll do the uh, coupler deck. Well, I mounted the aluminum coupler uh, and fifth wheel on here, coupler plate and fifth wheel. Um, I didn't assemble it. Um, with Loctite or anything because I'm going to be taking it apart to paint it. But you can see now there's no flex in the back end, but we still can walk our axles up and down, which just makes it great for those rougher surfaces and uh, towing the trailer. So now um, let's hook the trailer back up and see if it uh, made a difference in where that trailer sits. So I've got my uh, trailer hooked up. You can see that my ride height is the same as before. 
and I'll throw this excavator on here. Good lord. Man, those things are heavy. Okay, now uh, you can see <laughs> what I've got now is just flexing the trailer. But I'm up off the ground, and the best part is I still have uh, walking travel in the rear end. Quite a bit of it, actually. And the ability to hold my trailer up. So, where my slop is coming now is actually in this uh, gooseneck in the trailer, not in the back end of the truck. This is what I mean by the, the slop here. This is removable and there's a, a pin that slides back in, so I'm just going to tighten that up and get rid of that slop. Then I'm going to adjust my ride height by adjusting the height of the coupler deck. But now I'm confident this truck would hold 50, 75 pounds, no problem at all, and still walk over obstacles. Well, there we go. So that's how to uh, beef up the rear suspension of a Tamiya truck to carry just about any kind of load. Now you've probably noticed I don't have shocks on here. Um, obviously I'll be putting them on. The shocks though don't help it carry any load. All they do is just damp the action. So what I wanted to show you today was just how to make this thing into a load carrying beast. Um, you might wonder how come I didn't change these with aluminum or these arms with aluminum. It's because you don't need to. Uh, those parts don't really carry a lot of weight. Uh, the Tamiya axles and, and suspension parts are just fine. I've never had them break uh, no matter how heavy of a load I'm carrying. And uh, so they just really aren't needed. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Again, uh, you can get these walking beams from RCP57. I'll put a link to his Facebook page on uh, the video description. And uh, these aluminum coupler parts came from eBay. Uh, you can find them there. The, uh, yeah, RCP57, great stuff. He makes the dump beds and some other parts, bumpers and, and things like that. Um, I'll, I'm not going to do a complete video on this particular truck, but I just got one of these... Uh, four-wheel drive, RC four-wheel drive low-buy trailers for myself, for my bulldozer. So I'm going to do a review on the trailer and then in, and show installing lights in it. And that'll be in an upcoming video, not too awful long. And I will shoot a video of this truck, trailer, and excavator combo when I get it done. Maybe running around a little bit and just show what it looks like when it's finished because it's going to be a pretty impressive rig. So... Uh, there you go. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. I like those, and we'll see you next time.